Hey everybody, it's Zach from F-Stoppers and I'm here with Jason from Bowen Lightings. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about your new lighting system that allows you to use a pocket wizard without having a bunch of pocket wizards built off of it, plugged into it. So tell me a little bit about this new module that you guys are making. So yeah, we just had a great technology alliance between Pocket Wizard and as well as Econic because of course they use the Pocket Wizard technology with their meters to trigger the lights. So all you have to do is purchase this little radio trigger card over here, pop it in the back of your lights, and now you could use any of the Pocket Wizard series to trigger Bowen's mono lights. Oh great, can we see it in action here? Sure. So all you do is on any of the 500 R's or the Pro Series, so you just got to pop out this little piece of plastic right here. So all you do is you just slide the chip right into the back of the light unit, and then you can just put this back. So the way it works is for the first 15 seconds, all you do is you turn it on, and then you just press the channel whatever your channel is. So for instance, I'll turn on my Pocket Wizard Plus 3. All right. I'm going to choose a channel, so let me choose, say, channel 30. And what I can do is I just turn it on and then just hold down the button. And as soon as it fires, now you're ready to go. It's all and synced it up. Syncs like that. Yep, and so whatever channel you have, it works with all the quad triggering features, all 32 channels, channels A, B, C, and D, and you're good to go. It's that simple. Perfect. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you. Still here at Photo DX, and they're going to show us some of their lines of uh, GoPro accessories and different tools for GoPros. Tell me what you got here. Absolutely. Well, actually, we have a really comprehensive GoPro line, both for video makers, both for filmmakers. And Zach, before we get started, I would like to show you the pride of our collection, the Shark Bite. It is both a wrench for those GoPro thumb screws. Nobody can work with their hands. But more importantly, on the other end, it is a bottle opener for yeah. having finished the day's shooting. Perfect. Also, because the new Damnable 3 Plus case, the smaller GoPro plastic case, you can't work it with human hands. I, that's how I get the, I actually can open style ah. pull the camera out of the case with the shark bite. Zach, I'd like to present this to you on behalf of Photo Deox and all oh. of your local Coca-Cola bottlers. Thank you. Quite Thank welcome. You. My pleasure. No, I just made that up. <laughs> okay, so we when we saw when we set out to do this, we wanted to do just blitz the line, right? So we've got all metal accessories uh, that are familiar with what you uh, are accustomed to from GoPro thumb screws and sure. all that, but lots of colors so you can match your team, your gear can look a little different than everybody else's. Um, we also have cases and things like that. That's okay. all great, but the beauty part is the filter system. It's the Wonder Pan Go. So we basically took our giant professional filter system and we miniaturized it so it can fit on the GoPro. Okay. And anybody who's shot with a GoPro knows that lens is so wide and the shape of the camera is so strange, it's really hard to put a filter on it. Right. So we came up with a whole kind of idea on how to mount filters because we wanted the case to stay waterproof. That was the most important part. Okay. And we didn't want a solution that just clipped on. It's an action camera. Right. You don't want it just flying all over the place. Right. So the Hero 3 case, which is the larger style case, for that we've got a bolt-on solution. You actually bolt it right onto the case. The case stays waterproof. Got a bunch of interchangeable filters. We'll get to that in a second. Okay. Um, for the 3 Plus, that's the smaller slimline case, we've got kind of a cinch solution, you put the filter holder on, little screwdriver, it cinches on, and then we have a naked filter holder, which is uh, the folks who use the camera just outside of the case, like your helicopter guys. Yeah. This will just press fit right on, and uh, it holds like a limpet. Matt from Pro Media Gear, and he's showing us these really cool sliders that are reversible and you're able to get both curved and straight sliding action for video footage. Can you show us a little bit about your uh, product here? Yeah, guys, here's what we got. I mean, uh, the black slider is going to present you that, that curved look. So what you have is that's th that curve that we generate is about 20 uh, inches curved, and that slider rotates. And then what you do is you disconnect this, and then you literally flip this around. And now it becomes a straight slider. So you will connect it in here, and you have a straight slider, which is represented by this camera in here. And you're basically sliding it in a straight curve now with this orientation. So you get both. You get the curve section, and then you get the flat section as you flip it around. And these legs go from this side to that side, and you just turn this knob. You could also use the knobs by itself as a support, so you don't even have to have the legs in there. You just lay it down on the knobs and it lays down on a flat surface. 
cool. And these are all made of aluminum, so they're really lightweight and you can, you can just mount them to a tripod, right? Correct. I mean, we have mountings in the middle. There's a standard 3816s, and we have a quarter 20 or 3816s uh, interchangeable inserts that are all made out of steel for the durability, and we get mounted in the middle, supported like this. It's more than sturdy. It's made out of a solid piece of a bar stock aluminum that's been machined and uh, anodized. So what is the price for something like this? Well, I mean, we're going to retail this at 450 and here's what you're going to get. You're going to get the, the slider and the carriage that's going to have a 3816 thread or quarter 20 thread with some additional threads in here, and you could also mount it in here. But uh, 450 we think this is going to be a nice and aggressive price point for this kind of a double slider. Well, cool. Thanks for taking